उपयुक्त विद्यमान आयोजित के कार्यावी तुम्हें सग पोर्तुन एकदा मन काजा सर शुभेच्छा भारत में पत्र पत्रकारिता निको वाण जाऊँ तुम गुणवत्तात्मक विकास जाऊचो हा हेतान केन्द्र सरकार चार जुलाई एक सासठ या राष्ट्रीय प्रेस काउंसिल प्रेस काउंसिल ऑफ इंडिया की स्थापना के लिए ते उपरान तुम तंत्रिक कायदेशीर आ प्रशासकीय अभी वेगे बाजू सामा सोलह नोवेम्बर एक सासठ हा दिशा या प्रेस काउंसिल ऑफ इंडिया की विधिवत स्थापना जी दिशा सौन ग पन्ना वर्ष पेक्षा चढ़ का सौन हो दीस बड़ा उमेदीन बड़ा नभजन पुरा गोयभर तेज गोया भाई लगे हो दीस मोटा उमेदीन हंगसर मनयता पुर्तन एकदम सग उपस्थित मान्यवर शुभेच्छा दिता आज कार्यक्रम मदी आसा महिती आ प्रसिद्धि खाया के सन्म्माय सचिव सुधीर महाजन आई एस तेज हम मदी आसा यह कार्यवे खीर खास मार्गदर्शन करप मदी आसा मुंबई चेन आये ज्येष्ठ पत्रकार लोकमत के समूह संपादक सन्म्माय श्री दिनकर रायकर महिती आ प्रसिद्धि खाया संचालक स सन्म्माय श्री गुरुदास गोयकर सर आच्च अध्यक्ष श्री किशोर नाईक गांवकर आज संगा बशि सगले सरकार मूर्ति तसे ज्येष्ठ पत्रकार हेर पत्रकार भाव भैना ज्येष्ठ नागरिक मानकुली भूगी सगे मन का शुभेच्छा व्यक्त करता हा दिस जे एवॉर्ड आसा के बेस्ट एडिटर एवॉर्ड ऑन नेशनल इंटिग्रेशन एंड कम्युनल हार्मनी श्री सशावत गुप्ता रे जे गोमंट टाइम्स के एडिटर आसा रूरल रिपोर्टिंग सचिव खीर श्री देवेंद्र गणेश गांवकर हेराल्ड तसेच गोमंटक टाइम्स के टाइम्स की मिस निवेदिता सेन की रिपोर्टिंग इन पब्लिक हेल्थ एंड हाइजीन हेर एवॉर्ड तिंका मेवल आसा तसेच रिपोर्टिंग विथ स्पेशल रिफरन्स टू वुमन एंड चिल्ड्रन सोशल इश्यू श्री विश्वनाथ नेने प्रुडंट मीडिया श्री सचिन कोरडी लोकमत हंका स्पोर्ट्स रिपोर्टिंगा खीर तसेच श्री विठ्ठल नागेश गावड़ी गोवा दूत रिपोर्टिंग ऑन आर्ट एंड कल्चरा खीर आ श्री हेमंत पदक टाइम्स के हिंका फोटो जर्न जर्नलिजम हंका बेस्ट फोटोग्राफ ऑफ द इयर अवॉर्ड ये हंगसर फाव जाने तीन सक स्वागत करता जे जे सगले बाकी परिजन हा कार्यक्रम उपस्थित रहा आसा तीन सग स्वागत करता आता हे प्रेस आडिया उलवे जो खूब जो भारतीय संविधान प्रमाण जे घूम दिल्ले आसा फ्रीडम ऑफ स्पीच एंड एक्सप्रेसन आर्टिकल नाइनटीन वन ए आज वरवी बाकी बाकी सगले जे आर्टिकल आसा भारतीय संविधान के सगले सामा खी एक्सप्रेस करूं शकता फ्रीडम हम कसो आसा ये सभी महत्ति तुम्हें पत्रकार आसती आसा करता जो अड़चणी तुमका ये तेजर मात कर सगले काम करता काम के उपरान कि लोक मदी तुम विश्वास जो निर्माण जाता तेजे तुम्हें खूब शबास की कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ये नाइनटीन फिफ्टी फिफ्टी नाइन फोर्टी नाइन जिले फिफ्टी पैली जाए कायदे तैयार जाने सायदा ज्ञान नर जे सगले कायदे जाने ज्ञान संविधान धरन जो बेज धर जे काम करता हेजे जाए उलप जता जाए भाषा भाष जता चर्चे विषय आसा आज हाँ हा वे फोन मुद्दे माडटा आजे भाषे सोपयता एक मुझेर गांधीजी की एकशे पन्नासावी हि जन्मदिन तेजे सब शताब्दी ती साजरी करता खीर प्रेस आ मीडिया गांधी से कितो विश्वास आसो आश्वास कसो संपादन लोक मदी के हेजे दोन संगता कि एक मुझे नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी सी दरमियान लोकमान्य तिड़क लोक भरपूर विश्वास आसो आश्वास लोक गांधीजी ने पड़ो चलवी तिंगा दिखली कि वो विश्वास अपन संपादन करपा जो वेर लोक विश्वास जो आसो लोकमान्य तिड़क तसो विश्वास गांधीजी तैयार के आ विश्वास दोन बाजु तैयार जो लोक विश्वास गांधीजी चेर कि हो लीडर आपको तरी कर दिता आ गांधीजी विश्वास लोक कि लोग 
जे आपूण सांगता ते करतले आणि त्या खातीर एक ध्येय असलेले की आमकां स्वतंत्र मेळचे आणि हे सगळे करता असताना तिका माध्यमान जे पण तिका भरभराटून जे दिले दिले म्हणजे त्या त्या वेळाचेर प्रसंग मिडियान जे तिंका दिले तो मिडियाचो विश्वास आसलो लोकांचेर आणि लोकांचे सांगतो मिडियाचेर जे सांगता ते खरे आणि सत आणि त्या खातीर ते जेव्हा मिडियान आणि ते पाठ घेतलो त्या मिडियाचे आणि ते एक्सप्रेशनाचे जे पण वावर जालो असे न्हू की गांधीजी सगळे विचार सगळ्या लोकांक पूर्णपणे सहमत असले असे काय नसले गांधीजीच्या विचारांचेरूय त्यांना भंग अशी टीका जाताली पुढे ती एक कन्स्ट्रक्टिव्ह टीका असताली दे एकूच असलेले की आमकां स्वतंत्र मेळची विचार जायते जाताले तितून देवण घेवण जाताली खरमरीत टिकाय जाताली पुणे सगळ्या पत्रकारी जे जितली तितली पत्रकारी आसलेली ते सगळे एकठाय असले आणि म्हणून तो विश्वास लोकां मध्ये पावलो असलो विश्वासी जागून घेवपाची गरज असा हे सांगून हा म्हणजे असं वयता घेऊ बरे करून हा विनंती करता किशोर नाईक गावकर तांच्यानी त्यांची ओळख आणि मुखावेली सूत्रा आपल्या हातात घेऊची किशोर नाईक गावकर नमस्कार आजच्या या राष्ट्रीय पत्रकार दिसाच्या निमित्तान माझ्या सगळ्या पत्रकार भावा बहिणांचे हा शुभेच्छा दिता तसेच आयच्या या कार्यावळीक हजर असलेले सगळे ज्येष्ठ पत्रकार मार्गदर्शक हांचे आशीर्वाद मागता आणि त्यांनी आपले मार्गदर्शन ह्या आमच्या नव्या पत्रकारांक देऊन व पत्रकारितेचा वारसो अशाच पद्धतीन फुडे चलचो याचे आशीर्वाद दिवचे आयच्या या कार्यावळीक व्यासपीठार असलेल्या सगळ्या मान्यवरांचे स्वागत झालेलेच असा राष्ट्रीय पत्रकार दिसाच्या निमित्तान दर वर्षा आम्ही ज्येष्ठ पत्रकारांचा गौरव करतात पत्रकारितेन ताणी दिलेले योगदान त्यांचे काम हची खरी एक दखल घेऊची या उद्देशान अशा पद्धतीन ज्येष्ठ पत्रकारांचा सन्मान या कार्यावळीच्या निमित्तान जाता या वर्षा असेच आमचे तीन ज्येष्ठ सहकारी तीन ज्येष्ठ पत्रकारांचा भौमान आयज जातो या ज्येष्ठ पत्रकार पत्रकारां वेगवेगळ्या क्षेत्रांनी आपले योगदान दिलेले पत्रकार असतात खूप जणांचा असा गैरसमज असता की जो पॉलिटिकल पत्रकारिता करता तोच पत्रकार पॉलिटिकल बातम्या देता आज सरकार पडतले फाल्यां सरकार घडटले म्हणजे तो पत्रकार सगळ्यांनी व्हडलो बाकीच्या कोण पत्रकार मानपूच तयार ना सोशल फील्ड आर्ट फील्ड स्पोर्ट्स फील्ड फोटोग्राफर जे फोटोग्राफराचा एक फोटो इज इक्वल टू अ बिग आर्टिकल जे जे एका व्हडल्या आर्टिकलांसून जे आम्ही मेसेज दिवप सोदता तो मेसेज फोटोग्राफराच्या एका फोटोसून वचू शकता इतकी ताकद त्या फोटो जर्नलिजमून असा त्यामुळे वेगवेगळ्या जी क्षेत्र असतात पत्रकारितेची ते वेगवेगळ्या क्षेत्रातल्या पत्रकारांचा या निमित्तान सत्कार गौरव जाता आयच्या या सुवाळ्यात तीन ज्येष्ठ पत्रकारांचा हंगा गौरव जातो तातून गोयच्या क्रीडा क्षेत्राचे म्हणजे गोयच्या क्रीडा पत्रकारितेची ओळख ज्याच्याशिवाय जाऊ शकना क्रीडा पत्रकारितेचा भीष्म पितामह असे आम्ही ज्या म्हणू शकतात ते आमचे ज्येष्ठ सहकारी जॉवितो लोपिस हंगासर असा दुसरे आमचे मडगावचे ज्येष्ठ सहकारी ज्याने मराठी पत्रकारितेत गेली चाळीस वर्ष काम केले वेगवेगळ्या पेपरांनी सी एन सी कोर्ट अँड क्राईम व त्याचा आवडीचा विषय म्हणजे त्याला नावच सी एन सी कोर्ट अँड क्राईम पत्रकार म्हणतात तसे ते आमचे सोमनाथ बाब रायकर त्यांचं हंगा गौरव जातो तिसरं आमचं महिला पत्रकार ज्यांनी आर्ट अँड कल्चर साहित्य फीचर्स फीचर्स पत्रकारितेन त्यांनी आपले मोठे योगदान दिला ते मॅडम नयना आडारकर बाप जोविथो लोपिस हांची ओळख करून दिवप म्हणजे मोठे आव्हान कारण त्यांच्या पूर्ण कारकिर्दीन तांचे योगदान जे असा ते खूप मोठे योगदान असा एक 
क्रीडा पत्रकार असा तोच ते पण एक बऱ्यापैकी संघटन ऑर्गनायझर त्यांनी वेगवेगळ्या संघटनांनी आज मेरेन भरपूर काम केलं एका टायमार असे दिसताले की जे प्रिंट मिडियन काम करतात ते इलेक्ट्रॉनिक मिडियन काम करू शकचे ना त्यांच्याकडे जाऊचे ना ते पण बाप जोवितो लपिसान ह्या आताच्या एजीन सुद्धा आज ते इलेक्ट्रॉनिक मिडियन काम करतात म्हणजे जितले ते हातान एक्सपर्ट असताले तितले ते आपल्या उलवण्यात आणि त्या इलेक्ट्रॉनिक माध्यमाच्या विषयातल्यान आपले पत्रकारितेचे हे लोकांपर्यंत पावत पावयतात बाप जोवितो इज अ डबल स्टेट अवॉर्ड विनर हॅविंग बीन अवॉर्डेड द फर्स्ट अवॉर्ड फॉर एक्सिलन्स ऑन रिपोर्टिंग ऑन जपानीज एन्सेफिलिटीज अँड आउटस्टँडिंग स्पोर्ट्स ऑर्गनायझर बक्षी बहादर जिवबा दादा केरकर अवॉर्ड मला दिसतं बक्षी बहादर जिवबा दादा केरकर अवॉर्ड हो गोयचो सगळ्यात प्रतिष्ठेचो स्पोर्ट्स अवॉर्ड आता तो परत चालू झाला काय मला खबर ना कितकीशीत वर्षा तो बंद असलो पण जिवबा दादा केरकर अवॉर्ड मिळप हाच्या सारखे धन्यता ना ते फाव जाले आमचे हे ज्येष्ठ सहकारी असा He was awarded Pope's gold medal for his write-ups during the Pope's visit to Goa, not only on sports journalism. He has written on health. He has, on, he has written on various... The uh, Pope visit to Goa and the teacher that he was born in the past. He was the teacher that he was born in the past. He was the media officer come assistant chef the mission for the first Lusophonia games in Macau and chef the mission for second Lusophonia games in Portugal. an official media translator for third lusophonia games held in goa portuguese bhashaje tanche prabhutva asla karana lusophonia games an bab jovito lopisa che ek mothe yogdan ya vela amcha goyan sudha jena lusophonia games zale tanna bab jovito lopis sudha amka distalo portuguese bhashen sagle amche je kare organization ache goshti asle te portuguese bhashen vyakta karba lagu Being the media manager of Churchill Brothers FC, Jovito was accredited with the Asian Football Confederation, AFC, for three years. Prior to that, he was the media officer for Dempo SC and FC Goa when Zico was its coach in the very first year. I mean, I have to tell you that the football, football lover, I have to tell you that Bob Jovito Lopez has been a great job and a great job in the world. क्रीडा पत्रकारितेन असा दुसरे सुवातेर आमचे ज्येष्ठ पत्रकार सोमनाथ रायकर आणि आमच्यो तिसऱ्यो सत्कार मूर्ती असा मॅडम नयना आडारकर त्यांच्यानी आपलं सरकार त्याच्या उपरांत स्वीकारच The only thing I would uh, say is that we need in God to be a little bit research-minded when we talk about news and journalism. There was an altercation between the security, the police and the mother of the boy when it uh, aggravated the boy went and the boy slapped one of the officers. It has come and I got this uh, video from England, yesterday when I went for the match at Fatorda, it was this retaliation because one slap that he gave, the security man was on the ground. They said if one of our sub-inspectors can be mishandled, the others join. And what happened after that is horrible. The first part has not come out, the truth has not come out. The police could not resolve to such an unprecedented action. There are two, so that's why. My appeal to the, all the journalists to give the two sides, and now they say they're the third side of the coin. And with the social media, we are in a hurry to pass judgments and comments. Social media is the, is the part of the fourth industrial revolution that we have. They are talking about <coughs> cars without uh, drivers. So things are changing. Media is changing. I don't think so that print media has a lot of scope now. It's all <laughs> digital media, the social media. So are we prepared uh, for this type of changes? And I think the Department of Information and Tourism could think of this. Because if you look back in 1990s, we had Kodak at that time. And if you know Kodak, they had about 20,000 employees. Where is Kodak today? It's not, no way. 
So unless we are prepared for the digital transformation, I don't think so there's uh, much future for the print media, the electronic and the other media. I don't want to explain anymore, but it gives me great joy and pride that though I am now 71 years, I don't know how I'm still strong. It's God. Whatever I have done, I attribute to the Almighty. And without that Almighty's force, I would have never been able to do what I have done. I never wrote, I never wrote for any award. I never wrote for even this felicitation function. I did it with passion. I did it with love. And we say there are three rules in journalism. And the essence of journalism is based on these three rules. Accuracy, accuracy, and accuracy. Thank you very much. In rural reporting, the award goes to Shri Devendra Ganesh Gaunkar of Herald. As I said, this is a very, very important pillar and you people are into a human service because you are the voice of the people. Through your voice, even the ordinary person also gets heard and that compels the authorities, the government to take whatever corrective measures they have to take. We used to remember press only through newspaper and the books. But with the advent of technology, worldwide web, web technologies, electronic media came into being. People started expressing their opinion through Facebooks, Twitters, blogs. So this became a part of life. And this has become an essential part of life as we have the essential needs. So media is a very, very important tool. I was discussing before this function with the, some of our friends that with, while I was in college, one of the media houses came up with a tagline, Sab ki khabar le, sab ko khabar de. So this is a very apt tagline for the media. And this is a two-way process because Sab ki khabar le means in case government is coming up with some kind of policies, programs, they also need to be disseminated to every nook and corner of the state, city, country, the beneficial legislations which government comes up with so that everybody is benefited because of that. And in case there are some glitches, some uh, negative points attached to that, even they also get exposed by the media only to enable the government to take the corrective action. Likewise, society, all the ills of society, they also get flagged. And the good things which are being done by in the society, they also get picked up by the media very nicely. Having said all this, the only thing which is left is the responsible media. Mr. Lopez has just mentioned in his address that this is very, very important. R&D has to be proper and all that. So some basic code of ethics, some accountability to the people because people repose so much of faith. As I said, this is one of the credible pillars of the democracy. So that faith should not be shaken. So we all have to work towards that. Without saying much, once again, I congratulate to all of you, all the journalists who have been awarded this time. I would expect next year the number should swell. And I also congratulate to all the three veteran journalists who have been contributing in the field of journalism for the past many, many years. Keep doing good work. Keep uh, creating more informed citizens so that there should be pressure on the government to keep performing better and better. Thank you. Yes, if such a praise on me, I don't think I'm worthy of that. <coughs> but anyway, I, I can't blame him for doing that. <coughs> you know, I love coming to Goa because my forefathers hailed from Goa. There's a village called Raya. I've never visited that village, but they say all those who hail from Raya are Raikas. <laughs> I'm so very happy to see there's one CNC, Commander-in-Chief, <laughs> also from the Raikar family. <laughs> So it's, a, it's a great honor uh, to belong to the family. <coughs> and because the government of Goa has invited me, this is yet another opportunity for me to come and visit Goa. I must tell you, I'm not a good speaker because our time, editors were read, not heard. So I belong to that uh, category. So when it comes to speaking, I forget on what I have to speak. <coughs> but anyway, I prepared some of my speech and I'll read that out. In, in, in parts. 
So National Express Day is an important day, just not for all of us. But it is a symbol of free and responsible press in India. I am reminded of a famous quote from a genius that was Walter Conkite, who had said, freedom of the press is not just important for democracy, it is democracy. So let me tell you today, in democracy I believe the press has to be the strongest opposition for the existing government on behalf of the common people and I say this with my experience of more than 50 years. We must protect democracy, strengthen it, make it more vibrant. Because governments will come and governments will go. But unless there is democracy, there will be no free, free press and there will be no freedom of expression. Speaking of the free press, I am reminded of my initial days with Indian Express. I started my career with Indian Express way back in 1963. And when I look back at time, my time spent with the Express, I don't think I could have been in a better position and a better journalist than I am today. I remember being in Indian Express, especially during the emergency period. I don't know how many of you, maybe quite a few, who had witnessed emergency in India. This was the first time emergency was imposed in independent India, and that was in, in the 70s. I'll just tell you the, the little background uh, of that. You see, the decade of 70 was a very volatile time in India. We had defeated Pakistan in Bangladesh war. Before that, the Prime Minister Indira Gandhi had sidelined big wigs in the Congress party. She had nationalized Putin banks and naturally was facing the biggest political challenge in the country. But on the strength of her one slogan, Garibi Hatao, remove poverty, Indira Gandhi had won Lok Sabha election with a thumping majority. Subsequently, she had also won massive majority for Congress party in all the states in India. But in the process, she had almost dismantled the Congress apparatus. She had chosen her supporters for the key posts in the organization. Prior to that, these posts were filled by elections. She had done away with the elections and started nominating people. Her behavior had become autocratic. And the saying goes, power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely. The corruption was rising all over the country and more so in Gujarat. That's when the JP movement, probably I don't know how many people you know, Jay Prakash Narayan movement was launched against corruption in Gujarat and it spreads to all parts of the country in, in, in no time. <coughs> Provoked by this movement, Indira Gandhi imposed internal emergency and imposed and, and imprisoned almost all opposition party leaders for almost 19 months. For the first time in India, Indira Gandhi imposed press censorship. We had never seen press censorship earlier. For the first time it was introduced. The world leaders were very critical of her being anti-democratic. They were particularly annoyed because of press censorship in India. But Indira Gandhi remained unperturbed for 19 months Continuing in the state of emergency, not only that she extended the life of Lok Sabha by one year after the term was over. This is Info Media Prime Slot Network, and you're watching Prime. Your voice, your channel.